So after the upset in the men's doubles there with the Olympic champions being beaten in two straight games, we turn our attention to mixed doubles and Tan Kian Meng and Lai Pei Jing of Malaysia is up against Ko Sung Hyung, who's a former winner of this title, but with a different partner, um, A1. So this is the section of the draw, and you can see that the Olympic semi-finalists, Tang and Si, are safely through to play against the number one seeds, the Olympic champions, Wang Ilu and Wang Dongping. So who will play against the Olympic bronze medalists, Watanabe and Higashino? And that's who awaits the winner of the match we are about to watch. Top half of the draw, of course, in this section. But here are the Malaysians, Tang Kiang Ming and Lai Peijing. Tang Kiang Ming, fresh from reaching the final in the men's doubles with Tamui Kiong at the Dutch International Challenger event. So here comes Go Sung Hyung and Um Hei Won. Both players medalists at World Championships. In fact, five World Championship medals between them. A gold for the man leading them out, Go Sung Hyung. And that was in the men's doubles here in Denmark, in Copenhagen in 2014. He'd been silver medalist at the London World Championships in 2011 with Yu Young Sung. He won the gold medal with Shinbek Chol. And a mixed doubles bronze for good measure with Ka Jung Ung. So he's a versatile player, as we see that this will be the second meeting between these two pairs. The only previous meeting was the quarter-final of the Malaysian, of the Indonesian Masters 500 event. Two straight games to the Malaysians. 21-7, 21-18 in 34 minutes. Amount of strapping on the legs of Go Sung Hyung. Both Achilles heavily strapped. But let's look first of all at Tan Kiang Meng. 27 years of age, born in Johor Bahru, second largest city in Malaysia. Tall man, as you can see, 185, that's six foot one. And he and his partner have been as high as nine on the world rankings. In fact, 27 weeks in total across six different spells. Lai Pei Jing is 29 years of age from Kuantan. Penang. And they are making their fourth appearance here at the Denmark Open. Never previously beyond this second round. In the opening match, they beat the number eight seeds, Hafiz Faisal and Gloria Emmanuel Wajaya, and beat them the seeded combination in two straight games. So here is the former winner of the mixed doubles title here. He won that in 2015 with Kim Hana, beat Tuntui Ahmed and Liliana Nasia in the final in three games. He's been a semi-finalist in the men's doubles as well. And he's 34 years of age from Chunbok, in the centre of the country. His partner, 30-year-old Am Hae Won, from Gyeonggi province. So, in their first round, they beat Callum Hemming and Jess Pugh of England, 21-13, 21-19, in 39 minutes. And they actually formed their partnership way back in 2011 
when they won the Chinese Taipei Grand Prix gold. They then weren't playing together for a while. And Mr. Susanto of Singapore is our umpire for this one. And our service judge from India. But uh, they then went their separate ways, the Korean pair, until 2018. They won the Korean Masters as qualifiers. There's Chin Ee Wee, the coach to the Malaysian pair. A couple of titles in 2019 when they resurrected their partnership as independent players, both Super 100 events, Canadian Open and the Akita Masters. And I was telling you that they've got five World Championship medals between them. Of course, some who won, won two medals at the 2013 Guangzhou World Championships. A silver in the women's doubles with Chang Ye Na and a bronze in the mixed doubles with Shin Bek Cho. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Tan Kian Ming and Lai Pei Jing, Malaysia. And on my left, Ko San Yun and Yom Hae On, Korea. Lai Pei Jing to serve to Ko San Yun. Level. Play. So the Malaysians, Tang Fien Ming and Lai Pei Jing, serving from the far end of the court, getting this second round match underway against former champion Ko Sung Hyung and Am Hae Won. Service over, one, close. And for the Koreans, well, Am Hae Won. Oh, look at that super shot. She always had delightful skills, and I'd never really understood why the Korean coaches dropped her from the national team after she'd had two medals at the World Championship. She didn't get dropped straight away, but it wasn't long before she was out of the national squad. Of course, now married to Kim Sarang, former World Championship bronze medalist in the men's doubles. Push that wide. One. Was her husband entered into this tournament? Uh, no, he uh, he might have been entered, but he uh, was not in the main draw. And of course, with it being a Super 1000 event, there is no qualifying. No. Yeah, he was. He was actually the last on the entry list together with his former partner, Kim Ki-jung. Yeah, that's right. I do remember that now. But, uh, they were number 26 on the reserve list and there was no one after them. Three, four. Also entered into Hilo Open, but uh, also far down the list at uh, number 18 or so. And Yeah, good play from Tan Kiang Ming. Lovely backhands, look at that.
Unsighted. Well, the umpire saying he was unsighted. Umpire is calling the front service line, so nobody will lose any challenges here. It is the umpire who's asking the instant review to adjudicate. It was clearly short. Out. Service over, 5 all. That's good umpiring, I like that. Didn't see it. Yeah, I think sometimes, sometimes they forget they have to umpire that line because they also yeah. have to keep an eye on the uh, receiver yeah. that they don't move before the service launched. Six, five. Well, broke the string with that smash, did Tan. He was expecting another shot, Tan Kian Ming. Moving forward there. But, uh, Koo Sung Hyun easily powerful enough to uh, attack even from the back, from the back line. Let well, that was a huge pity for <laughs> Go Sung Hill. What a perfect serve that was. Out wide, skimmed the net, landed clearly in. But Tan wasn't ready. And that's gone long. Service over, 7 6. Was that a tumble serve? Oh. It was too short. Huh. Service over, 7 all. Oh. Gosh, she takes a long time on that serve, doesn't she? Yeah. in hindsight, my player King would have been better to leave that for her partner, but obviously wasn't aware that he was right in position to have played that. Oi. That's a good serve, but she's holding it almost as long as uh, Christina Pedersen. Yeah. Very physical player, Go Sung Hyung. Uh, look at this. Climbs a ladder to get up to that one. Yeah. Well left. So, on a run of five straight points. It is Go Sung Hyung and Am Hae Won. You have the advantage at the mid game interval. Yeah, 
凑进门前，一半一半全部都是不够的。你不要想着你要拿一半一半。OK， 凑上去他真的放的话，那他就你下去，你你去弄它无所谓。So the Korean is coached by Um Hae Won's husband, Kim Sa Rang. Oh, that was very loose, that serve. Service over at 11. Cool. Yeah, sharp onto the net, isn't it? Short. Oh, he's got it back. No, I'm back in the, in my day. That would have been called a slingshot. Yeah, or no shot. Was that yeah. when the, the, it came off a frame? No, that's when you sort of scoop it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I called it a scoop during yeah. the yeah. sort of in cup, but then I realised that's what you get your ice creams in. Exactly. And then my the slang for racket is a uh, spoon. Is that right? Basically, for both players, the battle for initiative. I feel that Kusun Hyun can uh, be a little bit more accurate from below the tape and still try to uh, play mixed double shots towards the midcourt area. For the Malaysians, I think it's absolutely crucial that they get to play from above the top of the tape. They get below, especially if Tank and Men get below the tape level, then uh, it still shows that he was a singles player for not that many years ago. Remarkable recovery there. From Go Su Hyung. Yeah. Little look after the rally from the Koreans to the coaching bench. Could we have played one? Or was it going out? Well left by. Thank you. Oh, there's a challenge here from Go Su Hyung. Go Su Hyung challenges. Call out. That's a great challenge. <laughs> and it wasn't so. Couldn't leave after all. Sub solver. 15. Show. Play. That could prove to be very decisive. Yeah. 15 12 instead of uh, 13 14. Oh! Oh! 
Yeah, yeah she's a clever player tactically. Yeah. Um, hey, one. Just manages to fall below the tape before Tank and Mink get to it. What a good rally. And that's gone long. Best rally of the match so far. And longest rally too. Good save there for right now. Did he miss that? 14, 17. Well, the indecision from the back of the court from Tan Kiang Meng. And Go Su Hyo, look, he's coming forward already. And finds the net. Oh. oh, my goodness. Well, I was just about to say what a lovely backhand from Tang Kiang Ming. But look at the reactions. Look at that from Go Sun Hyung. That's amazing. That's wonderful, wonderful play Service from Um Hae Won. Lovely little half court push, and look, she's ready and waiting for the drive down the line. Christian is good in Korea, have used them in um, Suryaman Cup when both uh, Che Yu Jung and presumably Choi Suk Ju was injured in the mix. Yeah. Clever play again by you. Oh, that's a good yeah, one. lovely drop. Good tactical Seven awareness over. from Tan. 17, 19. And he's threatening with the big smash. It looked like he's about to uh, 
Fire a smash bomb. Get me. So it's game point opportunities for the Korean pair of Go Sung Hyung and Am Hae Won. I think he got a little bit nervous there, Sang Kin Meng. It wasn't as long out 20. as he would have expected. Look at that offense from Um Hae Won. Oh, maybe it was. Thank you, Line Judge. Line Judge, thank you. Play. Oh, came off the frame. That's a lovely shot. Oh. Opening game to the Koreans. Go Sung Hyung, the former champion here at the Denmark Open. Now with his new partner, Um Hae Won. Opening game. 21-18。就是等等了20分鐘。就是等等了20分鐘。就是等等了20分鐘。就是等等了20分鐘。就是等等了20分鐘。就是等等了20分鐘。就是等等了20分鐘。就是等等了20分鐘。就是等等了20分
But I, I really think that Lai needs to win um, the front court over uh, Ium. And, and that's, uh, to me, is going to be the case because the other option is trying to do to make the court big for uh, Kusun Hyun. And I think that's going to be really, really difficult to play accurately to the um, to the back line. Flat drives to the back line. That's um, playing from above the tape. That's that's a solution for for Tan and Lai, uh, in my opinion. So she's got to be really, really focused, uh, Lai Peijing, and um, Tan has got to uh, move up um, behind her in the mid court to reach any uh, mid-court shots high so that he has options whether to push or block. Yeah, well put away. I suppose the only question mark is, in my mind is whether this man has the stamina. I don't know if you uh, yes. saw the match at the Toyota Thailand Open at the beginning of the year in the quarterfinal when they were playing against Puavra Nukro and Teirat Tanachai. It was a fabulous opening game, 29 27 the Koreans won and in the end he just ran out of steam in the third game they lost it to nine but yeah. he was simply tired I thought about it in the later part of uh, the first game here will, will Kusun Yon have the stamina but this is different playing conditions than yeah. in Thailand um, and also different opponents they're not that strong in the defense as Povar Nukru and Terachanachai So it seems like um, Lai has a tough time competing with um, with Ilm on the uh, front court. And, um, now that's that's another problem. If they feel that they just want to play defensive, the Koreans, and that they can hold the Malaysians, I don't think they can in the long run. Service over. Three, four. So in, in, in terms of that, you know, yeah, you're right. They, they, they got to work even harder in this second game than they did in the first game, and that's that's going to be interesting to see whether they have um, excess energy. What a save. My goodness. Off the right hip. Lai Peijing. Wonderful improvisation. That's amazing. Look at that. The opponents. For the Netherlands, and you said Tito Centuno in the offended arm. Oh, that's very nicely done. She's playing really well, um, in yeah. my opinion. 
And I've always rated her skills yeah. and her tactical awareness. I simply don't understand why the Korean coaches sort of gave up on her. Oh. Oh, yeah, and that's for a double hit. No, he's he's asking. It wasn't one. Yeah. It was double action. Double action, exactly. He's told. I find he's laughing. He can't believe it. I'm finding that difficult to believe. Let's have another look. There's no double action at all. No, no double action. That's quite extraordinary. And it should be the first time where he sort of addresses the shuttle, but a lot of players do that. Yeah, but even then, I didn't think he had a forward oh. motion. The problem is if you... If you uh, put the shuttle in front and then the racket up to the shuttle, then that can be deemed as the first forward move. Absolutely. Service over. I think there's signs that the momentum could change here, Jill. Yeah, I'm sensing that too, Steen. The way Lai was coming forward there and playing it uh, well below the tape. Again, she's playing well. Yeah. Right place at the right time. Making the court big. Yep, there she is again. She's been the decisive factor, in my opinion, here, because, I mean, if she hadn't made all the good actions that she's had, then uh, Ko Jun he wouldn't have gotten uh, the chances he's had so far to uh, play from above the tape. Oh, well, Service over. he got faulted the last time he served. She's the best player on court at the moment. Yep. Three point advantage to the Koreans, having already won the first. Here at the mid game interval of the second. Well, Chinny Wee advising her players that they've got to get, they've got to block if they're on the defence and try and move forward to dominate the front of the court because, quite frankly, at the moment, Umho One is in total control of the front court area. 
The Malaysians have got to turn that around. Two good rallies from the end turn. Well, the return got deflected by the neck cord. Yeah. I, I, I still like Tan's play, even though it wasn't successful, because it's about realizing, hey, there is no other way. This is the only way if we want to get back in this match. Did you touch it? No. Service over. 11. Well, no Joe. call. Oh. Well, Malaysians winning the point anyway. That's the battle. That's the battle. Oi! Oh, great effort. Two off the floor. Lying down on the job. That was a beautiful shot from Um Hey One, wasn't it? One off the floor. Two off the floor. Then he decides to get up. <laughs> How on earth did he get that? <laughs> oh, that one. You've got to love watching him, haven't you? Yeah. Great to watch. So back level. They've done well. Four of the five points since the mid-game interval have gone to Malaysia. Variation that uh, him is working from the back court, so not that many openings when uh, Kosong Jun is uh, covering the front court. Not that many openings to change things around. Rallied. Oh, oh, unbelievable. Oh, that's tremendous. What a rally. Service over. 30. Oh. You know, I think that could be a turning point. Yeah. I think sometimes a rally like that can change a match. Thank you.
This is a big point. Yeah, it is. That's a lovely, lovely drop from Tang Kiang Meng. And comforting to survive um, the attack from Ko Sun Hyun for the Malaysians. There's some big gumps of air being taken on board by Go Sung Kyung. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure he'll fancy a decider. No. I think the Koreans have to win it in two if they're going to win. Well played. Service over. 15 oh. The Malaysians actually led at 2-1 in this second game, and since then they've been playing catch-up. Yeah, and, and the thing is that the closer Koreans get to the goal of winning in straight games, the more uh, tension there will be with the Malaysians, I predict. Oi. Oh, really lucky. It. Yeah, really lucky for the Malaysians that uh, didn't touch that one. Yeah, clearly. That's a good spot by the umpire. Interception by Lai Peijing. Uh, desperately didn't want to sit on the ground there. No. So that he didn't leave so much perspiration. So, finally, since leading 2-1, the Malaysians back into the lead again. Oh, that is delightful. She's playing fantastic. Boom, hi, Wong. Help but wonder how many results in world badminton would have been different had Um Hae Won been on the world stage as part of the Korean team for yeah. the last five, six years. Lovely. Yeah, because she's clearly more dangerous at the net than uh, Che Yu Jung is. Che Yu Jung yeah. is a fine net player as well. She just doesn't kill that much.
Hey, one. Get ready quicker. It's very short. 19 all. Good play. Oh, oh you he missed <laughs> it. <laughs> Would you believe it? Game boy, I did. Well, that's absolutely extraordinary. He was there. Look, he's ready to pounce, and literally, completely missed it. So that extraordinary miss gives the Malaysian pair two game point opportunities. It's one game all. Closing out the game, the Malaysians Tang Kiang Ming and Lai Pei Jing on a run of four straight points from 17 18 down. This is the final rally right in between the two Koreans. And it's one game all. 45 minutes into the match, and we are going to be treated to a third and deciding game. Ah, Fine again. Love all. Oh. Play. So here we go, third and deciding game. What an excellent mixed doubles match this has been so far. So the question One, love. is whether Ko Sung Hyun still has the stamina to keep going at the sort of pace and physicality that he's used in the opening two games. I think um, Malaysians are more alert now to the um, tactics in um, this third game here. So the Koreans, in order to try and come back, needs to move lie away from the net. And when she's at the net, they need to get uh, 
tend to move from uh, side to side. trying to, or not trying, she played into the net from a low position. The way to turn defense to uh, initiative. Well, I make that three service errors, at least from the Korean pair. Plus that service fault. So yeah. There's some fuel. Oh, that's a good shot from Tang. And on court three, Mel Segru from Malaysia, Darren Liu. Six straight points. Uh, this is decisive. Nine, yeah, it is, three. isn't it? As we suspected might happen, yeah. Go Sung Hyun just doesn't have the stamina. Oh, that's good. Gave that a little bit of slice, didn't he? Ten, three. Well, considering it was half a drive shot, that's very good indeed. Yeah. Make sure it doesn't go long. Yeah. Well, the run of points comes to an end at eight. 
but I'm pretty certain you're right, Steen. I think that is decisive, those eight straight points. But never say never in sport. No, definitely not. You just never know. I was convinced with that men's doubles earlier. 12-18, that that's, that's yeah. uh, normally what you consider quite safe lead. Yeah. Doesn't happen a lot that uh, it's turned around with sort of uh, equal pairings. It was the Indonesians who had the advantage over the Danes back then. suggest seven to eight is the target at least before the change of ends if they uh, want to come back go on uh, oh that's good defense But it won't be seven or eight because it's a six point difference at the change of ends here in the deciding game. 11 5, the advantage to the Malaysians. Isn't that perfect? Twelve five. Oh, brilliant. Well, the cross-court net shot from Go Sung Hyun wasn't too shabby either, was it? No. That Lai Pei Jing was absolutely ready and waiting. Look at this cross-court net shot. And there she is. Calmly, just playing it straight. both left it for the other that's very very clever tactical play from Tang Kian Ming lovely little block Oh, so is that. Isn't that lovely? Well, I'm afraid the Koreans are a spent force. Yeah, it's as been well. a little bit, as we feared this third game, yeah. in terms of um, entertainment value. But uh, still some very, very good shots. That's a, That's a fantastic beauty. shot, yeah. yeah. So 
over 6 16. Well, it's surely just a question of making the scoreline more respectable, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Unfortunately, <laughs> I would like to say, no, there's still a chance. <laughs> but I really don't believe there is a chance anymore. No. Um, Barring a catastrophe, and we, yeah. we don't like to see catastrophes. No. And by that, I mean catastrophe of an injury. Mind you, 16. wasn't there a Malaysian pair that was something like 16-4 up? That was uh, Muhammad. That was Muhammad Hafiz Hashim. Back. No, there was one in what Thailand, beginning of the year. 16-4. Wow. Something like that. Maybe because I remember I've been talking about this Muhammad Hafiz Hashim who <laughs> was leading 16-4. In the second against Mark Zwiebler here in Denmark Open. Oh, right. Where, according to the story, uh, in the third game, according to the story, Hendrovan said, just uh, at the interval said, just continue full speed until 16 and then you're as good as home. <laughs> he stopped at 16. <laughs> Well, that's what we didn't want to see. Somebody taking a tumble, but I think he's all right. Yeah, he's limping a little bit, but uh, maybe just yeah. the hit. Not a whole lot of points for artistic impression in that one. <laughs> I can tell you that. Uh, my memory's gone completely, yeah, Steen, because it was the All England Championships. Ah. It was uh, Kaneko and uh, Matsutomo. Matsutomo were leading 16 4 in the second game. I uh, beg your pardon, the other way round. It was the Malaysians, Champing Soon and Goli Ying, yeah. who was leading 16 4 in the second game. And lost it to Kaneko and actually Tomo. I knew it was a Malaysian mixed doubles pair. <laughs> I, I got the wrong place. I said Thailand and it was the All England. Oh. But this does seem a little more believable, doesn't it? 9 16, seven points. Don't think about the seven points, just think about one point at a time. Mm. Yeah, go so please. Well. Found second wind. Ten, sixty. Get me. Get me. Don't walk around. Great smash. Some solver, 17, 10. Lovely angle, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, 
serve is short. That's a fourth service error by the Koreans. Well, that was put away with Venom. That wasn't going to come back. She's gotten a little bit tense by pitching so that Jung can win that net every single time, then... Uh, and it really is possible. It might open up. A tiny little bit chance. Wasn't the best of serves. That's a great defense. Uh, two points away, and the Malaysians are reaching their first quarter final here at the Denmark Open. Match point opportunities. Seven of them for Tang Kian Meng and Lei Pei Jing. First time of asking. Survived a close second game, having lost the first, but it was decisive in the deciding game. 21 13 in the decider. In an hour and six minutes. Well, he's always entertainment value. Is Go Sung Hyung, the former champion here. This is the final rally. And a good interception on the third shot from Lai Pei Jing. And therefore the victory to the Malaysians. Coming through 18 21, 21 17, 21 13 in the deciding game. An hour and seven minutes. So, as they take leave of the court, we know that they will play against the Olympic bronze medalists Watanabe and Higashino in tomorrow's quarter final.